Hello everyone. In the last few weeks I started to learn the AppBGE engine and I decided to record some videos about this engine as I'm learning it. So AppBGE is built on top of Blender and the newest version which is AppBGE 0.3 so the newest version uses Blender 3.0 and uh, you should go to the appbg.org and here you will find some information about this engine like uh, here it says that appbg is an open source 3d game engine forked from the old blender game engine and deployed with blender itself and you should also go to the features tab and just read through this uh, what I'm interested in is the download tab. So go to here and just download for your operating system. I'm using uh, Windows uh, 10, so here is the download button. And, uh, and as I said, we, were, we are going to use a BG version 0.3 and the 64-bit version. So, so just click on this and download it. So after the download is finished, you will get the zip file which is about 220 megabytes and you just need to extract this and uh, you will get a folder where you will find all the files so you don't have to install anything. You can just click on the blender.exe and it runs Blender with the AppBGE engine built in. Most of the time you will be using the so-called Logic Bricks editor which you can find here. So just expand this timeline and click on this icon and select the Logic Bricks editor. So this is how the Logic Bricks editor looks like. If you have ever used the old Blender game engine, you will be familiar with these. The Logic Bricks editor has three parts. The first part is the sensors the second part is the controllers and the third part is the actuators. And in this video we are just going to make this cube move uh, in all directions, so to the front, to the back, to right and also to the left using only the Logic Brick Editor. Before I start with the Logic Brick Bricks Editor I'm just going to add a plane to the scene. So shift a and shift a and the plane and i'm just going to scale it up let's say by 20 and also move this cube on the on the z-axis so grab z so that it it is placed on the plane and i'm just going to select the camera and go to the camera's view and also just move the camera a little bit back on the local z-axis and uh, Yes, if you want to use the app BGE engine, first you have to learn how to use Blender. So I'm don't, I won't teach you how to use Blender. I assume you already know how to use Blender. Okay, so now let's add a little bit of logic to this cube. So every time when we are going to press the left arrow, it will move left, so on the negative x direction. But before we add the logic, don't forget to select the object to which you want to add the logic. So I want to add it to the cube. So select the cube, go to the sensors and add a keyboard sensor. So keyboard, then click here and just press the left arrow. So it detects that you press the left arrow. The second thing, we are going to add a controller. So let's add a controller and this is a logic controller. So it has AND, OR, NAND, NOR, XOR. So we are going to add an AND controller. And the last part is add an actuator. So we are going to add a motion actuator. And we also have to connect these. So we are going to connect the sensor to the controller and the controller to the actuator. So every time when we press the left arrow uh, in the actuator tab, we are going to move. So here is a location XYZ and also we have a rotation XYZ. We are going to move the cube 0.2 unit, negative 0.2 unit 
on the in the x direction and uh, let's try it so if you want to run your application you can just press the p key and let's try it and now as you can see our cube is moving on the x direction now let's add a second sensor you can collapse these just by pressing this uh, triangle here so let's add a second sensor which will be also a keyboard sensor click here press the right key and it detects, detects that you press the right arrow let's add an end uh, controller connect the sensor to the controller let's add an actuator which will be a motion actuator and connect it here and so when the right arrow is pressed we are going to move on the x-axis 0.2 units so let's try it so move the mouse pointer in this view and press the p key and now we can move our cube to the right and also to the left and you can just uh, exit the game by pressing the escape key so now let's add the forward and also the backward movement and i'm just going to collapse these and add a new sensor which will be a keyboard sensor click here press the up arrow so it detects that we press the up arrow add an end controller connect the sensor to the controller add an actuator motion and connect the controller to the actuator and we are going to move forward on the positive y axis so location y and i'm just going to add 0 0.2 and just do this also for the backward so add sensor keyboard click here press the down arrow it detects the, that we press the down arrow and also collapse this and uh, you can just create the actuator like, uh, or the actuator the motion actuator and just connect it directly here and it will automatically create a controller in between these two so the sensor and the actuator and it will be an end controller and so this is this will be the down or the uh, back movement so we are going to move it negative 0 0.2 on the y so move here the mouse pointer and press the p key so now we can move forward backward left and right so this is just a hello world application of app bge and at the end of this video i'm just going to show you two more ways how you can run your application in app bge so the the most i think the better way is just pressing the p key because this is the the fastest but you can also go here render properties click on this icon and you can click on the embedded start which does the same as the p key or you can press the standalone start which will create a separate standalone window with your game and uh, this window size is set here so it is by default 1280 by 720 one more information so if you are interested how your game performs you can check this checkbox so frame and frame rate and profile and it will show game stats uh, in the upper left corner so let's run it so standalone start and here it shows like the frame time which is 16 milliseconds and also the fps so the frames per seconds which is 60 fps so it runs 60 fps on my machine if you have a weaker machine probably it will be a little bit less and if you want to go or if you want to exit uh, this standalone start or the, this standalone game you can just press the escape key so don't forget that uh, you always have to select the object on which you want to apply your logic if you have 
if uh, let's say I'm if I'm select this plane, now the, all the sensors and all the controllers and the actuators are gone because they are visible only when we select the cube, which means all the objects uh, in the 3D scene, so here is the scene explorer, the camera, the cube, the light, the plane, can have their own logic, logic bricks. And uh, in the next part, uh, I'm just going to do the same thing, just move, just move this cube in, uh, in these four directions, but in the next video we are going to take a look how to do this uh, by using Python instead of uh, instead of these sensors, controllers, and actuators, we are still going to use sensors for detecting the keyboard input, and we are still going to use controllers, but uh, we are going to create a Python controller. So in the next part, we are we are not going to use actuators. So until the next video, thanks for watching, and of course, have a nice day.